If you're worried that you've undercooked your turkey, there are better people to call than 911. One person didn't agree though and called an operator to ask if they had cooked their Thanksgiving bird for long enough, even offering the exact temperature of the oven and the weight of the bird. Was it safe? The dispatcher didn't say. I had the uh, oven at about 2, 12 is what I was thinking. It's about a 20 pound turkey. Is that safe? You know, we, we really don't provide that kind of service. In Ningbo, China, Officer Zhao Deng received an unusual call from a young woman whose boyfriend was refusing to warm her feet. The officer eventually responded and turned up at their rented apartment to find them still arguing. He told the boyfriend that it was a man's duty to keep his woman's feet warm, but suggested that the woman not leave her feet there too long. Only in China, folks. Upon learning that her local McDonald's had run out of Chicken McNuggets, an enraged Latresa Goodman called 911 three times to report the culinary catastrophe. She was arrested after telling police who arrived at the scene that she wouldn't have handed over her money if she had known they were out. It's embarrassing enough to get locked out of your car, but imagine being locked in it? A woman in Kissimmee, Florida called police to tell them that she was locked inside her car and that it would not start. She reported feeling unwell due to the heat building up in the car before the dispatcher suggested that she try pulling up the lock button on the door. Unsurprisingly, it worked, and the woman was freed. I'm locked in my car, my battery shut down. You're locked in your car? Can you actually see the top of your lock? Oh my god. Of all emergencies, turning into a werewolf has to be right up there with the most alarming. One man who called 911 reported to the call handler that he needed some Pepto-Bismol as he was about to turn into one of the fictional creatures. It is not known whether he was arrested, or if indeed he actually turned into a werewolf. This one is quite sweet, really. A young boy who was struggling with his math problems called 911 to seek help. The four-year-old asked the operator what the answer to 16 take away 8 was, and thankfully, the 911 operator took it in good humor, encouraging him to find the answer. In an effort to avoid being pulled over by the cops, one driver decided to lure the officers away by calling in a report of an armed robbery happening just a few blocks away. It worked at first, but another car followed him into a parking lot and noticed a gun in his car. The convicted felon, who wasn't permitted to carry a firearm, was arrested, and when the police determined that he had called in a hoax crime, they added that to the charges too. Lorna Jean Dudash was visited by police officers at her home in Aloha, Oregon, after neighbors reported her for making excessive noise. Moments after the sheriff's deputies left, Dudash called 911 again. She told the operator that she didn't have an emergency, but asked them to throw the cute police back her way. One of the deputies had caught her eye, and was sent back by the dispatcher, not to get her phone number, but to arrest and charge her for misusing the 911 service. Being lonely can be tough, but it was even worse for 45-year-old John Triplett, who was charged with misusing the emergency services after making more than 27,000 calls to the 911 emergency line in 2008. Instead of engaging the dispatchers in conversation, presumed to be his intention, Triplett made a variety of grunting noises and would make noises with the phone's touchpad. Police tracked his cell phone signal and arrested the man who claimed to have made the calls because they were free. Winter can be difficult for many, especially for this motorist who called 911 after finding that their car's windshield had become iced over. The caller reported that they had no idea how to remove the ice from the car and also had nothing which could do the job. The baffled dispatcher was forced to ask why they thought a police officer would be able to help them with that before hanging up. Someone should tell them about the internet. I need somebody to get this ice off my windshield. I'm not sure why you think a police officer is going to come help you get ice off your windshield. I don't have like anything to get it off with. I can't scratch it off. Okay. If you don't have an ice scraper, you're going to have to use something else with an edge on it that you can get it off or start your car and put the defroster on for a while. All right. Well, can you all help me or not? Well, I'm, I'm helping you by giving you suggestions. All right. Later.